Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to log into Xbox app. And if you're receiving this error message that is invalid pointer, we couldn't sign you in to Xbox Live. So if you're receiving this error message, then please follow the steps shown in this video. The first step is to restart your computer and try again. So go to the start menu, click on the power icon and then click on restart. After the system restart, open Xbox app and then try to log in once again. Now the next step is to repair and reset Xbox app and Microsoft Store. So type in store in Windows search box, make a right click on Microsoft Store, then click on app settings. Now this will open Windows settings. Now scroll down. Here you can see the repair option. So click on repair. And after the repair, open Xbox app and then try to log in. Still you are receiving the error message, then click on reset, reset. After the reset, open Xbox app and then try to log in. Still you are receiving the error message. In that case, type in Xbox app this time in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app. Then click on app settings. Now again, it will, it will open Windows settings and scroll down and then click on repair click on repair and after the repair open xbox app and then try to log in still you are receiving the error message in that case click on reset reset and after the reset open xbox app and then try to log in now the next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset now this will open this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. So the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now open Xbox app and then try to log in. Now the next step is to close Xbox app if it is open. Close it and then open Microsoft Store in the background. So once you open Microsoft Store, on the top right here you can see a profile icon. Click on your profile icon. Then click on sign out. Then click on sign in. Now select the right account and then click on continue. Now it will be asking for your PIN or password. So enter the PIN or password over here. Now once logged in, now open Xbox app and then log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox app. Next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time. Now make sure set time automatically is on over here. In Windows 10, you will find set time zone automatically. Make sure that is also on. In Windows 11, select the right time zone from here and then click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. And once the sync is done, now open Xbox app and log in. Also make sure right region is selected from here. Make sure that right country is selected over here and then try to log in. Now the next step is to make sure gaming services and Xbox identity provider is installed in computer. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Click on get. It will prompt you to open Microsoft store. So click on open Microsoft store. Now over here, you will find Xbox identity provider. Now, if this is not installed, you will see get option, install option or update option over here. In my case, it's already installed. So there is no button. In your case, you might see install get or update option. So do it and then uninstall gaming services for this. Copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here, hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services. Now once done, run the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. Copy this. On the same window, paste the command, hit the enter key. Now this will open Microsoft Store. And here you will see install option to install gaming services. Click on install then click on yes to allow and let the download complete now once the gaming services is installed now open xbox app and then try to log in now the next step is to delete xbox live login credential for this type in credential manager in windows search box and then click on credential manager
now go to windows credentials scroll down now over here you will find xbl device key or you might find xbl grts device key in my case i have only xbl grts device key so you might find xbl device key or xbl grts device key or maybe both so you have to go ahead and delete this entry so click on xbl grts device key or device key and then click on remove click on yes now after this restart your computer restart is a must so make sure that you restart your computer after this and then open xbox app and then log in now the next step is to start all these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper and then set the startup type as automatic then click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find xbox services at the end here you can see all the xbox services make a double click on each xbox services set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok again automatic apply start then ok automatic apply start ok and now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now find gaming services make sure gaming services is running over here if not make a right click then click on start if it's already running then stop it and then restart the service so make a right click and then click on stop and once done again restart the service so make a right click then click on start again make a right click start so make sure gaming services are running over here now find microsoft store install service make a double click on microsoft store install service set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now open xbox app and then log in now the next step is to uninstall xbox app restart your computer and then reinstall xbox app to uninstall type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app then click on uninstall uninstall now after the uninstall restart your computer and then reinstall xbox app from microsoft store so in microsoft store type in xbox app and then click on xbox app and then you can install xbox app from microsoft store and then open it and then log in now still you are facing the problem then uninstall xbox app this time once again so type in xbox app again make a right click then click on uninstall uninstall now after the uninstall restart your computer and then download xbox app from xbox website so go to the xbox website scroll down here you can see download the app click on download the app run the exe file and then install it and then log in now the next step is to run this command this command is provided in the video description so copy this command this will install all the default windows apps so type in powershell in windows search box make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time now during this process you will receive some you will see some errors in red color so if you see any errors in red color just ignore it and let the process complete now once done close this window now open xbox app and then try to log in now the last step is to update windows using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file 
click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps should help you to get rid of this invalid pointer error while logging to xbox app on your computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel